Hi, and welcome to my short term review of my Yamaha XT250. Firstly, let me say that I've owned the XT for roughly three months and have ridden it in all conditions, wet or dry, on freeways and highways, plus a few unsealed roads just to see how it handles different conditions, different speeds and different situations. But first and foremost, I must admit that the lack of power took a bit of getting used to, mainly because I hadn't ridden a 250 for quite a while, but once I had adjusted to what the bike had to offer, it really did become a fun little motorcycle to ride. The bike itself, in my opinion, tends to do most things well without being outstanding. By this, I mean the brakes are adequate enough and will stop you no problem at all, but the front brake does take a little bit of time to get used to, as it seems to lack the stopping power of most other bikes I have ridden. The rear brake is okay, but the pedal is so small, you sometimes either miss it or just slip off it altogether. But having said that, you soon get used to the brakes and the way they operate and they are perfectly fine. The riding position is pretty much upright as you would expect from a motorcycle of this type. And although I found the seat a little firm at first, it has softened up quite considerably over the last three months, making it quite a comfortable motorcycle to ride both long and short distances. The seat height of 810mm or 32 and a quarter inches depending on where you live in the world is pretty much perfect for both tall and short riders enabling pretty much anybody to plant both feet firmly on the ground if need be. As for, as for the suspension it seems quite adequate for the job it, it is intended to do although some people might think it is a little bit on the softy side but to me it seems perfectly fine for the job it has to do, whether it be on-road or off-road. The bike comes equipped with a 5-speed gearbox, which is pretty slick most of the time, although occasionally you do get a false neutral, and I must admit that when I first started riding the bike, there were times when I went looking for a 6-gear, especially when riding on the freeway or highway. But like everything else, you just become accustomed to what the bike has to offer. The bike itself is a breeze to handle, whether it be on the bitumen, going through some tight mountain twisties, or on the gravel. Whilst the bike itself is also quite stable at highway speeds, which did surprise me a little. And although it does lack a little bit of top end power, which is pretty much what you would expect from a single cylinder 250 of this type, you don't feel unsafe or vulnerable at any time whilst riding on a highway or freeway, although I would never recommend riding too up on it. To me, it really is a motorcycle which you could use for everyday commuting or maybe taking a trail or two on the weekend, just to have a bit of fun. Filtering through traffic is a breeze, although I would suggest that if you do filter through to the front at traffic lights, you really do need to do what I call a Mato GP start, otherwise the cars will just run over the top of you because off the line the XT is not the fastest motorcycle I have ever ridden and when it's all said and done it's not intended to be. But as I said before you just need to adjust your riding style to suit the bike and you'll be fine. But having said that, as an older rider who's been around the block a few times, that pretty much goes for any motorcycle that I've owned as I've always had to adjust to certain things the different bikes and throw my way. Remember, no motorcycle is perfect. To make the bike my own, I have added a factory Yamaha rack, a bash plate and master cylinder cover from B&B Off-Road and a set of Bark Buster Storm handguards, plus a Nelson rig tail pack for carrying capacity. I have also added a Delcovic 350mm oval carbon fibre slip-on exhaust, which really does improve the look and sound of the bike. I also changed the tyres from the original Nobbies to a set of Pirelli Scorpion MT90 AT Enduro just to make the bike a little bit more user friendly on the street and I must admit being pleasantly surprised at just how much of a difference the Pirellis have made to the bike's stability and handling on the street and highways without losing too much off-road capability. So, in summary, whether it's your first bike, or like me, it's your 20th bike, the Yamaha XT250 is a pretty good little motorcycle which won't cost you the earth to buy, and is cheap to run, insure, and maintain. 
but most importantly it will provide you with plenty of good times both on and off road depending on what might tickle your fancy at the time. If you have any questions please place them in the comments section below and if I'm able to answer them I will. Thanks again for watching.